everybody, welcome to Frontline Football, and today I'm going to give out some awards for the Wild Card Weekend this week, because there are a lot of things that need to be discussed. First off, the award of congratulations for actually trying this week, unlike some of your other friends. I'll give that one to the, Ford, to the Dallas Cowboys and the Las Vegas Raiders, who while they both lost, they made it look interesting at least. And then I'm going to give some low-light awards. Honorable mention here is New England getting blown out by 40 by Buffalo, with Buffalo literally not having to do anything wrong. They were perfection on offense. And last but not least, I give the Losers of the Week trophy to the state of Pennsylvania, as both of your teams decided to get blown out in the first round by far superior competition. But anyway, that's the Week 1 Wild Card Awards for Frontline Football. Let's roll the intro. <music> guys to frontline football i'm zach we're gonna get it started off with the bills and chiefs i'm gonna hand this one off to jack this one is a great matchup for my view both of these teams are kind of hard to gauge they've been wildly inconsistent at times and both of them basically destroyed their opponents just like destroyed them thanks super wild card weekend but as of this second, this moment, I slightly lean the Bills. For one, the Bills were able to outmatch them earlier in the season in Arrowhead, where they got the job done. For two, this is kind of like a little bit of revenge. The Chiefs kind of humiliated them last year in the AFC Championship game. This year, the Chiefs don't look quite as dominant. I think there's an opening here. I think the Bills' defense is going to do just enough to get the job done. I think Josh Allen is going to absolutely explode this week. Maybe another five-touchdown game coming. I also think the Bills are going to be able to start up that run game that never seems to work until it's needed. So maybe a big game out of Devin Stingletary, potentially. We'll see on that take, but overall, I still believe in the Bills. They're going to be advancing to the AFC Championship for the second year in a row. What are your thoughts, Josh? Well, uh, I have to go with the... Buffalo Bills also, I think that they have a really good chance of winning this game. And I like their odds better than Kansas City. As much as I like Patrick Mahomes and what he has been doing for the Chiefs, I think that Josh Allen, after that blowout win against the Patriots, has really put them on the map. And I think that something else will be happening like that in Arrowhead with Jackson Mahomes in attendance. Zach? The Bills. This is a revenge game for uh, Kansas or not for the uh, freak. I can't speak Buffalo because they played them in the conference championship last year and well, they got handed. And I feel like it's going to be the other way around this time with uh, Josh Allen looking very good. It, he's basically the whole entire offense for that Bills team, which is very hard to stop. Um, I don't believe that the Chiefs' defense will be able to keep uh, keep up with the offense of Josh Allen. And um, at Kansas City, uh, their offense is very good, but also a very good thing is the defense for Buffalo. So I believe that will win uh, soundly. So yeah, our next matchup I'll be taking, and it's the... L.A. Rams versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning. Now, this actually right now is a hot take because they both blew out their teams. But I believe that Tom Brady can get the win over Stafford. We've uh, we've seen this matchup already once before in regular season. And that was a really good match. And the Rams won that one. But I feel like Brady's not going to lose to a team twice. And I feel like... Tampa Bay is going to take the win here. What about you, Jack? This one's another super close matchup. Well, all of them are super close matchups. But as of today, at this second, as we film this video, I'm going to lean Rams by a little bit. Tiebreaker here is mainly Stafford beat a slightly better opponent than Brady did. But I think both teams have a good chance looking at it. I still think the Bucks are a little bit undermanned. I think they are going to get some of their run game back. But what I saw out of Cam Akers this week, he looked really explosive despite the Achilles tear, which is really impressive to come back from that in the first place. But I think the Rams are starting to work. They're getting better and better. Odell's starting to integrate himself into the system. 
Von Miller actually did stuff this week, which he hasn't been doing lately. I think it'll be enough to get the job done over here against Tampa Bay. We'll also see. Another thing that concerns me about the Bucks is the status of their offensive linemen. Two of them went down, their starting center and Tristan Wirfs, the right tackle. Both pro bowlers. I think the center is going to be in, but I'm not sure about Wirfs yet. I think Von Miller may have a potential mismatch as the backup right tackle had a hard time against the Eagles last week as well. So I'm going to give the slight edge to the Rams, but you never know with Brady. But I'll take the Rams. What are your thoughts, Josh? I have to go with the Rams here. I think that their beating of the Cardinals is better than the Bucks beating the Eagles. Because the Eagles are a team with rising stars who will probably be good in, I want to say, the next two or three years. While the Bucks are good now. But the Bucks have looked very inconsistent, and health has been my biggest problem with them. Because the Rams are getting healthy at the right time, and the Bucks are getting unhealthy at the wrong time. So, I have to go with the Rams here. Alright, our next matchup is going to be my game of the week. Um, I believe it's going to be the Bengals-Titans, and Josh will take this. Bengals-Titans! I have the Cincinnati Bengals in an upset here. I just saw a lot from them, and I think with Joe Cool starting under quarterback, I know that that's Joe Montana's name, but you know what? Burrow looks cooler than Montana. So, uh, I think Burrow is going to show off his playoff accolades here. Now, my big problem with choosing the Bengals here is their defense. Their defense is very inconsistent, and their offense can sometimes overshadow those problems that the defense has. Along with Burroughs line. Burroughs line had a great game last week, but they need to make sure that they can hold up this week. So I have the Bengals winning this game, and I think that they will be moving on to their first conference championship since the 90s. I'll hand this off to Jack. I'm going to take the Titans here. Now, one reason they're my Super Bowl pick, so even if I did believe in the Bengals more, I've already stuck with the Titans. But two... Derrick Henry is returning. Finally, the Titans are getting a little bit of health in their direction for once. He looked pretty good in practice in pads, according to multiple people that were watching him, apparently. And two, the Bengals' D-line got a little banged up at the end of the game. Their defense runs to their D-line, and they're not going to be getting the great Larry Obinjogi. I don't remember how to say his name, but he's very good defensive lineman. I think Hendrickson is going to be good to go. He had a concussion, but I think it's going to be all right. But still, I think King Henry on his debut game is going to be cooking. Joe Burrow was going to put up a good fight because he's Joe Burrow. And I think it's going to be close. But ultimately, I think the Titans are going to take care of business here. Move on to the AFC Championship game. What are your thoughts, Zach? I have the Bengals beating the Titans. I like this offense of the Bengals, especially with Joe Burrow, uh, Jamar Chase, and all their team is mostly healthy other than some defensive pieces like Jack said. And all their wide receivers have been clicking like Boyd and Higgins. I understand that a lot of people are looking at Jamar Chase, but like these other the other two wide receivers are really good on that this team. I believe that it's, the Cardinals aren't in it anymore. I believe that the Bengals could win the Super Bowl this year. Our final game of the divisional round is the Green Bay Packers versus the San Francisco 49ers. Um, I'm actually going to hand this one off to Jack. All right, my game of the week, and I'm going to come in with the hottest of hottest hot takes ever. Give me the San Francisco 49ers in a stunning win in Lambeau with Aaron Rodgers coming off the bye. I don't have a lot of evidence, but I do have some. Aaron Rodgers, he's never beaten the Niners in the playoffs before. 0-3 with the most recent loss coming two years ago, I think, when the Niners had that crazy defense that just sort of steamrolled him with he mostered for the most part. This year, that steamrolling is going to be courtesy of the great Debo Samuel, and maybe Brandon Ayuk catches a couple balls. But ultimately, I think the Packers, it's inevitable that they're going to find a way to let this go. It doesn't matter how good their team is. Every year they seem to come up short, no matter if they're the first seat, second seat, third seat. They're always right there. I think their choke is going to come one week early this year, and it's going to happen in the divisional round. The 49ers are going to stun the world, go into Lambeau, and beat the Packers. What are your thoughts, Zach? 
I have a very strong hatred for the Packers, and I understand that this probably will be biased, but I have the Niners beating them too, because Niners are the only team I'm okay with going to the Super Bowl in that whole entire NFC group. Um, so, yeah. Um, I like this Niners team. Um, their defense is really solid. I believe that Nick Bosa will get a lot of pressures. Maybe even sacks on Aaron Rodgers. Um, their offense is really clicking, especially because Jimmy G has taken a huge step up when it came to this playoff time. He did really well against, um... Uh, the Cowboys, with help from Debo Samuel and Elijah Mitchell, I believe his name is. Um, so yeah, I think that this Niners team is clicking, and it's getting really good, especially going into the playoffs. They came in with a lot of questions, and they've answered most of those questions. Now, there's another question that they have to answer, which is the Packers. Let's see how they do. Josh? Well, I have the Green Bay Packers winning this game because... I believe Rodgers will lose against the Rams, not against the Niners, because I think that with Jimmy G being questionable, I if he doesn't play, I don't see the Packers having, or the Niners having enough manpower to overpower the Packers. So I have to go with Green Bay here, and I think that they are going to move on to the NFC Championship. And my game of the week is the... Chiefs, Bills. All right, that was it for a video today. Uh, really short for a normal front football video. If you liked it? Hit the like button. Comment your Super Bowl picks or game of the week for this week. And subscribe. And Jack, hit the plugs. As always, don't forget to follow us on t Instagram and Twitter. Right there. At Frontline FB, or the links will be in the description as always. We'll be back here next week for the conference game. As you can see, we had a weird Frontline Football road sweep here in the playoff predictor. Every road team winning in our predictions. And we hope you guys enjoyed this week. We'll be back here to decide who's going to the Super Bowl next week.